Peace and love, family. Peace and love. It's your boy Chris and Lightning coming back again with some more spiritual battles. And today I'm going in on ancestors augmenting your reality. Ooh, this is a good one, family. This is a good one. Ancestors augmenting your reality. This is a good one because most humans aren't aware of the fact that ancestors augment your reality. Once you develop a, a relationship with your ancestors through your ancestor altar and just a deep innate knowing that they're always with you, they begin to augment your reality. And augmentation is nothing more than enhancing or adding a different layer to your reality. Before I started rocking with my ancestors' family, I was living check to check. I had poverty consciousness. I was scratching and surviving. I was embedded and I accepted being on a human wall of suffering. It was just as simple as that, family. But once I got with my ancestors, I set up my ancestor altar, start burning money, giving them libations, food, prayers, light, well wishes, dissolving their negative financial con their negative financial karma, I started winning. I started winning. And the person that told me to do it, I was like, I don't know if this is really real or not, but I did it anyway. And I'm here to tell you, I started winning ever since I did it. So if you want to win, you want to dissolve your limitations, you want to usurp your wealth consciousness, if you're tired of fighting for your limitations, get yourself an ancestor altar up and allow your ancestors to augment your reality family. They're going to add a different layer to whatever it is that you're doing. Right now we got that COVID-19 going on. I'm winning with it. COVID-19 doesn't even really exist to me. The collective consciousness believe it's true. But I'm like this, regardless of what's going on outside of me, I'm vibrating so high that I'm still winning. I'm not I'm not allowing this whatever it is to get me down because my ancestors have not only augmented my reality and created a bubble of hope and joy and winning energy around me, they augmented my consciousness. I know as long as I'm taking care of my ancestors, they're not going to let anything happen to me. They're not going to let anything happen to me. Like a lot of people, myself, you know, I have a nine to five too. You know what I'm saying? And you know, my nine to five might not be guaranteed, but am I worried? No, because I'm winning. You know what I mean? I don't let my nine to five dictate what I do in my life. My nine to five is nothing more than my best investor. If you are if you have a business or you have something on the side going on, you use your investors to invest in you. If they're tired of dealing with you, you get another investor. You call on your ancestors, you have them augment your reality, and you're gonna start winning. It's just as simple as that. But you have to not know it. You have to feel it, family. You have to feel it. You just can't be like, oh, oh please help me, ancestors. Oh, ancestors, help me, Lord, ancestors. Please, the blood of my ancestors. You don't want to be like that, family. You don't want to be like that. The only way to get off the human wall of suffering is usurping your winning energy. Having joy. Have a certain vibration about yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even sure if vibration is a word. But it felt right at the time. You know what I mean, family? But I really want you to allow your ancestors to augment your reality. It's just as simple as that. I know there's a lot of you right now. There's a, a big hue of uncertainty going on right now. If you don't have your ancestor altar up, if you're not meditating or going to your ancestor altars now, it's good to start after this video. Just take 10 minutes and just do some meditation. Just sit there. Try not to fall asleep. You know, my wife always gets on me. I'm going to be real with you. You know, I'm one of those high, I'm a life path five. I'm always have to move. I always have to be animated. But when I calm down, I usually fall asleep. You know, I talked to my spiritual master about it. He said, it's okay. It's okay. The intent is what counts. So if you can stay woke, please do. If not, it's all good. Your intent matters, family. So don't feel bad. If you're like me that falls out, you know, I look on my wife, I'm snoring, I'm like, oh, did she hear that? She's like, yeah, I heard that. I'm just being real with you, family. You know what I mean? One thing I really want you guys to start doing is being more real with yourself and other people. When you be real with yourself and other people, things just tend to happen in a good way, family. Things just tend to happen for you that's going to help you win, family. I really want you to close your eyes. 
go into the abyss within your mind and fantasize and manifest the life that you want. Okay, family? So on that note, it's your boy Chris Enlighten. If you want to help me out by investing in my books, The Enlightened Talk, Poverty Consciousness, Dissolving Your Limitations, uh, what's my other book? Wealth Consciousness. Feel free to go out to Amazon.com and invest in those books, family. So on that note, it's your boy Chris Enlighten. As you float into this dark abyss that you're in, that you're in in the in your mind, just keep on winning. Winning! <laughs>